What up, it's your boy T-Bird here in the reaction. So it's my favorite uh, wrestling reveal of the day. Uh, yeah, I got, well, maybe. I might still have time to do the one I usually do at the end. But I am going to throw this in just in case I don't. If, and if I don't have time, I'll do another one tomorrow. But time to do the top this video I got from Watch Mojo. I'm surprised they did a video like this, though. Especially if I'm wrestling outside other than WWE. This is top 10 Ring of Honor matches of all time. You know, Ring of Honor is like, it's like still kind of the thing right now. But it was a big thing. It was really like it's highly, it's highly respected. Cause a lot of wrestlers, known wrestlers, that's either in WWE, Impact Wrestling, AEW, uh, New Japan, and many other big names have made they have got their start or made their way through Ring of Honor, such as AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, uh, what's that, Cody Rhodes. Uh, all all four members on this beautiful from Adam Cole, Roger Strong, Kyle Riley, and Bobby Fish, Kevin Owens, uh, Sami Zayn, who else, and uh, Seth Rollins, and I might be and, and uh, I was saying uh, Cash is on though, many uh, and many and plenty of others, and even some of the guys who are retired and announced such as Nigel McGuinness. So while I further do, let's check out, and we still got some current guys that's in Ring on like Jay Lethal, the Briscoe Brothers. And Kenny Kang and many others. So, while far ado, let's check out the top 10 rig, rig up honor matches of all time. This cutting edge wrestling promotion has produced some of the best mm -hmm. matches since the turn of the century and so shows no right signs there. of slowing Please down. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down oh, our yeah, picks for the top well. 10 best matches in Ring of Honor history. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. And if you want to see more from Ring of Honor, check out the description below for more details. You got it! Cover! The Bristol boys. One, two, no! Number 10, Ryo Saito, Dragon Kid, and Genki Horiguchi vs. Sima, Sima, Naruki Doi, mm -hmm. and Masato Yoshino. Supercard of Honor 2006. Uh, this tag team match featuring talent from Japanese promotion Ugh. Dragon Gate took Those place Dragon, on Ring yep. of Honor's first yep. ever Supercard of Honor this is the one. weekend so, of yeah. WrestleMania 22 Rig in Chicago. Rig Rig I do have a lot of uh, social affiliation with other promotion, whether it is uh, this. I think they still, and, um, I think they just broke the. Uh, no, he's still with New Japan Wrestling, I think, but they just broke their thing with NWA. Despite featuring no mainstream American talent for the crowd to already be invested in, the nearly 30-minute bout won fans over quickly and helped catapult Dragon Gate in what it would soon become. It's a perfect introduction though, into the so. high octane style that these guys all excelled at, and the match earned a rare five star rating from preeminent wrestling journalist Dave she Meltzer. Like meaning this fast escalating match is one to be remembered. <laughs> Number 9 Austin Aries vs. Well, Nigel, Nigel McGuinness, rising above 2007. Keep your eye on Aries. Look at Aries, the long ass hair. Oh my god. This epic fight was McGuinness's first title defense after winning the ROH World Championship mm -hmm. from Takeshi Morishima a few months prior. Lariat! It was oh, clear that both men up. desperately wanted to be world champion, and their high intensity was what took this match mm -hmm. to the next level, earning a reputation as one of the best Ring of Honor matches in the promotion's history. Wow. He's got Nigel! Mm. After a nasty dive from Aries knocked McGuinness into the steel barrier less than 10 minutes into yeah. the match, McGuinness is Shit. busted open and the next 20 Woo. minutes showcase the intensity of both men. Eventually, McGuinness would be able to put Aries away with a huge lariat to retain his championship. Number eight, Young Bucks, Young Bucks versus Briscoe, Briscoe Brothers. Best in the world, last year, in the yep. world 2018. I remember, I remember, yeah, you I might as well head outside, Nicky boys. Yes. Oh, Wilder, 
crazy kid! Despite being only a few months old, this bout between two teams of longtime rivals did not disappoint fans and earns a well deserved spot on our list. Tables have been turned! Super, Super kick! If you need proof we're living through a renewed golden age of tag team wrestling, look no further as the reigning IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions Young Bucks competed against the reigning ROH World Tag Team Champions Briscoes in an absolute slobber knocker. Looking for five stars, call Uncle Dave! Got it! Meltzer Driver! The crowd was electric for the babyface Bucks, while the Briscoe brothers played the part of the tough heel champs perfectly, Top retaining heels. after an Even incredibly hard fought they make, battle. They make their heel and face up. And this is, is nice. what it takes to beat the Young Bucks three count from Paul Turner. Number seven, Tyler, Tyler Black, Black versus and Davey, Davey Richards. Richards. Death from before Impact. Dishonor eight. Tyler That's Tyler Black, Tyler right there, though. Risk, it does not pay That's off. Tyler the short-lived but heated rivalry between between these two resulted in this fiery 2010 match for the Ring of Honor World Championship that took place shortly before Black left the company for WWE and became the wrestling megastar Seth Rollins. Tyler Black, oh my god! Reverse Hurricane Rana! Where did he go? Oh my god! Oh my god, that's gotta be a no! The perfect combination of quality character and in-ring work from both men helped to create an intense atmosphere surrounding the match that persisted throughout the 35-minute fight. Action too fast to call Ooh. Vince Gary. Nice. After a series of high-impact power moves and a number of shocking near falls, Black was able to out-wrestle and outlast Richards to retain his world title. Press clutch! Clutch last gift! Number six, Kenta versus Brian Danielson. Yeah, that's uh, by honor he deal, that's Hideo Tommy. Hideo Tommy and Hideo Brian. This legendary match took place between two of the world's best wrestlers fairly early in both men's careers, with the Ring of Honor World Championship on the line. Springboard into the mess. The pair had reached an undeniable level of chemistry in the ring, and the match is magic from the start to finish. From the ring psychology to the work rate, this is a classic Ring of Honor match through and through, and resulted in Kenta's first loss in Ring of Honor. <laughs> Number five, Davy Richards versus Michael, Michael Elgin. Elgin. Oh, shit. Showdown in the sun. Day two. Hooks it in. Oh, that's gotta be it. One. Another match rated five stars by Dave Meltzer. Oh, this been slow burn brawl featured an underdog champion, Davey Richards, so attempting to retain the Ring of Honor World Championship over a beast like Michael Elgin. Oh, and capitalize. The match starts slow paced but gains steam quickly before all hell breaks loose in the final 10 minutes mm -hmm. as the men take each other to their absolute limits. Oh, I've got a roll! Wait a minute! Ooh, nice. Devastating near fall after devastating near fall finally comes to an end when Richards is able to keep Elgin down for the three count after a brutal spinning back kick, continuing his successful title reign. Oh, 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 nice. oh that one might be it. Two. Number four, Takeshi Morishima vs. Brian Danielson, Manhattan Mayhem 2007. <laughs> Brian Danielson is well known for filling the role of the smaller man against a huge wrestler, and it's rarely been used more effectively than in this match between Danielson and Japanese heavyweight Takeshi Morishima. Morishima charges with a big boot! Morishima was Ring of Honor's world champion and had a string of successful title defenses before Danielson got another shot at the belt he had lost just the year before. Morishima used his weight advantage to manhandle Danielson throughout the match, with Danielson giving everything he had to try and overcome the heavyweight. In a heartbreaking finish, Danielson would fall short after receiving a gruesome eye injury. He's going for it! 
Number three, Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe versus CM Punk. Punk. Wow. Joe versus Punk, too. That's what Punk, was that's what Punk with the blonde hair. Look how, These two oh my God, look how small, legend, small Joe is. Long and storied rivalry oh, shit. in the indie promotion before they both went on to become household names. Yeah, this one ring out was indie. The pair's best Ring of Honor match came in this five-star, 60-minute battle that would end in a time limit draw. Samoa Joe's record-breaking title reign would continue, but it's impossible to forget about this wrestling classic that saw CM Punk take Joe to the limit. The two young men would both have long careers ahead of them, but without a doubt, this early matchup remains one of the best of either man's career. Number two, Brian Danielson vs. Nigel. Nigel McGuinness, Unified Daniel 2006. This match held in the United Kingdom to unify the Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling and World Championships saw two of the promotion's best wrestlers go head to head to find out just who was the better man. Superplex! The bout was stiff and brutal on both sides as each attempted to grapple and pound the other into defeat. I was roaring! The pure wrestling rules perfectly suited both men's styles, and the match eventually resulted in a bloody climax that saw Brian Danielson victorious, able to defeat Nigel McGuinness to win the ROH Pure Wrestling Championship and unite the mm, company's they belts. Was going at it. They went to the death. Bloody damn it. Nigel's out! Nigel's out! Damn, to the blade. Number death one, Kenta Kobashi vs. Samoa Joe. Joe vs. Kobashi. Oh, oh, In wow. 2005, Ring of Honor was able to bring in Japanese wrestling legend Kenta Kobashi to compete against mm. the company's former world champion, Samoa Joe. Hey. Oh, oh, shit. For Kobashi to compete toe. in the US was rare and made the match feel like a once-in-a-lifetime fight between two mega-stars. The hard-hitting Kobashi had the crowd behind him from the beginning, and things only got more electric as the match continued. <laughs> Running at a tight 23 minutes, the showdown saw both men gain an advantage before Kobashi put Joe away with a massive burning lariat. The match elevated Samoa Joe even further into wrestling stardom, helping to create the living legend he is today. Do you agree with our picks? This is a good Check top out these 10. other great clips from Watch Mojo and be sure. This was a good top ten right here. This was a good one. I like this. Like it put me, it, it showed me a little bit of history on Eric on it because I heard, like I heard about it, but I never like watched it because like you know it was, I ain't no weird way to watch it. I'm not sure it was like one of local channels or stuff like that. But I have heard about it and heard in the, from like now for like wrestlers who've been in the past and to see some of the iconic matches on there, it was pretty nice. For real. As we see some of my favorite guys that's on a that's on WWE, AEW, and um. MOW as well as Impact as well too on here is pretty awesome. So this was indeed a good countdown for um from Watch Mojo. But other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Burst signing off. One love.